Well, Wolf, this speech was a, a broad uh, explication of U.S. interests in the world and U.S. foreign policy. And what it said was that the United States must and what must be and will remain in every instance the world's number one leader and will do what it takes uh, to defend and advance our interests, including where it is necessary to defend our core interests, to use force unilaterally if necessary, but that when it is not something that affects our fundamental national security, our economic well-being, or the security of our allies, that we want to work cooperatively with other nations to the greatest extent possible to tackle global problems. Now, Syria is such a global problem where there's enormous humanitarian suffering, there's spillover affecting the regional states, uh, and there's a growing terrorist concern about which uh, the president spoke at some length. In his speech, he said that he was going to work with Congress to establish a new counterterrorism partnership fund of up to $5 billion. And as part of that, uh, he said we want to work with Congress to increase our support for the moderate vetted opposition in Syria, as well as for Syria's neighboring states, our friends like Jordan, like Lebanon, Turkey, and Iraq. On Ukraine, uh, now that uh, the administration has declared uh, that the elections uh, over the weekend were largely fair, does that mean no more sanctions will be imposed, at least for now, against Russia? Well, first of all, Wolf, as, as you well know, we have imposed already very significant sanctions uh, on Russia in partnership with uh, our European allies. Those sanctions have targeted individuals, government officials, and companies, as well as uh, elements of the high-tech defense sector that are very significant to Russia. And those sanctions, we believe, have had an impact on Russia's uh, decision-making to date, uh, including its readiness to uh, accept the results of the election and perhaps the decision to uh, pull back forces from the border. But we've also been very clear that we're going to continue to monitor very carefully what Russia is doing and should it take steps that we and our European partners deem destabilizing or escalatory, the threat of additional sanctions remains on the table.